Hello everyone. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe the composition, various types and functions of glycolipids. Glycolipids are the compound lipids which are made up of fatty acids. The alcohol present in the glycolipids is pingosine along with the carbohydrates. So glycolipid consists of fatty acids, spingosine and carbohydrates. Glycolipids are also called as glycospingolipids. They are the important constituent of cell membrane and nervous tissue. In glycolipids, glycerol is not present and it is not attached to phosphate. So in glycolipids, only spingosine, fatty acids and sugar that is carbohydrate is present. Let's see the classification of uh, glycolipids. Glycolipids are classified into four major classes. The first one is cerebrocytes. Second is sulfatides. Third is globocytes. And the fourth is gangliocytes. The cerebrocyte is made up of ceramide plus monosaccharide. Ceramide is nothing but when fatty acid is attached to spingosine, it is called as ceramide. When this ceramide is attached to monosaccharide that is glucose or galactose it becomes cerebrocytes. Galactocerebrocyte where galactose is present as monosaccharide it is found in high concentration in nervous tissue membrane. The glucocerebrocyte when glucose is present as a monosaccharide in cerebrocyte it is called as glucocerebrocyte. It is found in non-neural tissues. Galactocerebrocyte is present in neural tissue and glucocerebrocyte is present in non-neural tissues. It acts as a precursor for synthesis of more complex glycolipids like ganglioides. The second class of glycolipids is sulfatides. It is composed of ceramide which is sphingosine plus fatty acids plus monosaccharide plus sulfate group. So ceramide with monosaccharide along with the sulfate group is called as sulfatides. These sulfatides are found in myelin that is sulfogalactoceramide is found in myelin which is the example of sulfatide. The third type of glycolipid is globocytes. It is made up of ceramide plus oligosaccharide and it is the important constituents of red cell membrane and also it acts as determinants of ABO blood groups. The fourth type of glycolipid is gangliocytes. This gangliocytes is made up of ceramide plus oligosaccharide plus N-acetylnuraminic acid that is NANA. This is the structure of GM3 gangliocytes in which you can see that spingosine is attached to fatty acid it is called as ceramide and to this oligosaccharide is attached that is glucose and galactose is present and to this galactose N-acetylnuraminic acid is attached. This is a GM3 gangliocyte. In the GM1 gangliocytes along with this ceramide and oligosaccharide n acetyl galactosamine is attached and to this n acetyl galactosamine one more galactose molecule is attached along with the n acetyl neuraminic acid what are the functions of glycolipids these glycolipids are important constituent of nervous tissue such as brain and outer leaflet of cell membrane they are constituent of specific receptors for polypeptide hormones they are antigenic and have been identified as a source of blood group antigens and they play important role in regulation of cellular interactions, growth and development. 